Hello, Jemalov here and welcome back to Beginner's Guide to Dwarf Fortress, a tutorial series where I'm building an example of fortress, showing how to build a fortress and how to help the dwarf survive. In this part of the series I'll be making soap, soap for the hospital and soap for the dwarves to use when they clean themselves. And I'll also start a project on creating an underground well. It's quite complicated project and might take some time, so I'm not sure if it will be completed in this video, but I'll show you the plan and then in some of the upcoming videos you'll see the well in full action. But uh, let's start with the soap. It's something I've been actually doing here uh, over time, uh, doing some components already for the soap. So uh, what do you need for soap? You need two components. You need lye and as a second component you need either tallow or rock nut oil. Let's begin with the lye because that's, that is something you always need. Uh, for lye you need uh, some way to create ash. For example with wood furnace you can burn wood into ash. From that ash in ashery you can create lye. So ash from wood furnace burning wood and then turning the ash into lye. And I will, uh, while I remember, go into unit list manager and queue up some lye. I think I had eight of them. Ash is in the stocks, so Z for stocks or the or the stat screen and then stocks. As is in the bars section. So here we can see I have eight, eight ash. So that's how you create lie. The second component, the easier from them is probably tallow. You get tallow when you butcher an animal and you get the raw fat and then the raw fat is automatically uh, rendered into tallow in the kitchen. And in the previous video I butchered some uh, some turkeys for bones and here is the rendered fat barrel. Uh, the raw fat has been rendered into tallow. So together with lye and tallow I can make tallow soap. The rock nut oil is created by milling either in quern or using a millstone, milling rock nuts into rock nut paste, which I have done in the previous video, I think it's somewhere in here, yes there it is. And then this rock nut paste is pressed in a screw press into rock nut cake and rock nut oil. And then that rock nut oil is the second component for the soap. So since I have the rock nut paste, I will again go to Unislit Manager, U and M, Q new order and press liquid from paste. And I have eight of them, so I will press eight times. The lie making needs a lie making labor and uh, pressing liquid from paste needs a pressing labor enabled on some of the dwarves. And of course you need a uh, the screw press and then you need either quern or millstone to uh, first mill the rock nuts into that paste. All right so with that done I have uh, I have the tallow already I have queued up lye and uh, from those I can make soap and now I'm pressing the liquid from the rock nut paste and uh, then I can make soap from that as well. So that pretty much takes care of the soap so uh, I will, uh, before I unpause, so show how I will build the underground well. You can create it in many ways. Um, in this case I'll be tapping into the water of this lake. I will uh, dig a channel down, all the way down below my hospital, and uh, let this water in controlled way fall down there, and then I will uh, tap in that water uh, using a well. So I'm starting that from the from the surface. I'll be creating here a floodgate. I'll also add here a grate just in case uh, that no fish or crocodile or something gets into my reservoir. And um, then I'll start channeling down. 
I will be channeling down, 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 down. Let's go here first. The water will fall here. The water will uh, go through this uh, little corridor here. And here's a, a diagonal a connection. This will remove the water pressure from the water. Uh, in here I'll also have a floodgate, just in case, to uh, control the water and also uh, any accidental flooding. So uh, with this uh, connection the water will get into this 3x3 free free area. This um, up, upward stairway here is just to get the miners out from here. And uh, here next to the staircase I will build a wall when this is done. I don't want anything anything from this reservoir uh, coming coming my way. If I go uh, level up, here I will have a water pump, which will pump water from the lower level where the water from the lake is. I'm pumping it so that I will uh, I will disinfect it uh, in case the water is stagnant. I will uh, make it uh, make it better and pumping it eventually into this one which will be my final uh, water reservoir. Um, and then from above, I will uh, build a well here in the hospital level, down into a, well, I will make a hole and then a well on top of that hole, tapping into my uh, little, uh, little reservoir. And um, when it's raining on the surface, the lake will uh, refill itself. I have uh, checked that this is big enough lake, or at, e at least it should be big enough lake to uh, uh, kind of um, that there's enough water in here to uh, for this fall because some water will uh, will uh, vanish when it hits the hits the bottom, and then uh, this should be enough to keep my uh, keep my dwarves dwarves uh, drinking. So uh, since that is quite complicated, I will. Uh, um, if you will draw, all right, uh, one thing. There's also a control room where I place all the levers, levers for the floodgates and uh, things like that. And the uh, pump will probably be controlled manual. So I will, um, I will draw what what that actually looks like. So uh, let's make it on this level, which is uh, kind of a black. So if we have the surface here. Um, wait, it's not that one. Let's make it. Uh, let's make it like that. So uh, let's say this is the lake. Uh, I'm first, and uh, above here is. Uh, let's make it. Let's make it up. So here is. Uh, here is the surface where the where the dwarves are. Dwarves are walking. So I will dig down into this level where the lake is without getting uh, this. Uh, this one square between the lake and my uh, and my channel, so I will uh, dig down here. I will build here a floodgate, so I can control when the water comes down, and then I will build a grate, uh, just in case uh, there's some uh, animals in the lake, so they don't get through. And um, then uh, the water will from there go down. Uh, I don't remember exactly how many levels. I think it's seven or seven or something. So it will fall something like that. And then the water uh, goes into a into a reservoir, and in there I had that uh, had that connection made like this, because uh, this kind of connection removes the water pressure. I will uh, I will just in case have there the floodgates, so that uh, in case it still floods, plus I have control control of the water. So uh, when I eventually have a floodgate, okay, let's actually make it. How, how should I make it? Let's make um, let's make it like that. And here we have uh, here we have the surface. Uh, let's make it like that. In here I will have a floodgate, and in this one I will have have the uh, have the grate. And down here again I will have a floodgate, and then the water reservoir. On top of that here I will have another channel. And uh, my actual reservoir, and in here I will have a, I will have a pump. Uh, let's make it a downward staircase. So water from the lake coming down into the reservoir. I have a water pump here that will be able to pump water from the from the uh, 
first reservoir where the water falls from the lake, it will be able to pump it and at the same time disinfect it or clean it into the actual reservoir. And then finally, on top of that reservoir, I'll be uh, able to have a, a, a well that will uh, that my dwarves can use to take the water from the cleaned cleaned uh, reservoir. So uh, I'm not sure if that's that is any uh, any clearer, but uh, hopefully hopefully you now understand uh, how how I'm doing it. So letting the water down into a first reservoir, from that reservoir pumping the water into the final reservoir, and on top of that building a well. And uh, as when all those things are done, uh, I will uh, I will show it show it to you of course. So now I will um, unpause the game and see what happens. Mm. I didn't check who... I didn't check is the, is the lie maker and oppressor, do they have some other things to do? Mm. The miners do have something else to do because they are uh, finishing my archery range here. Um, but uh, let's see and wait, wait how what happens and if if is there something else that that will happen. As soon as these are uh, dug out, I will uh, place the floodgates there and start start from there. Let's check out the miners. Okay, so the miners are digging down here. Good. I'm still a bit low on wood because I've been burning a lot of wood into charcoal to have some metal done. Alright, so I can here already uh, start by building some levers. So I need one lever for the, for the top. One lever for the bottom. Then I'll probably just in case have a hatch here. So let's make a lever for that as well. Okay, let me just double check. So from down from here, it will tap into that. The water will fall here. We'll have a floodgate. Then here on top. Yeah, that's the amount. That's the amount of floodgates I need. We will have some job cancellation there for a moment. Until they. Uh, until I get some more wood. Um, I probably would have normally already uh, dug down uh, all the way all the way down to find magma so I could have uh, wouldn't need that much uh, that many uh, that much charcoal okay but that announcement is more interesting uh, when I'm pressing the rock nut paste into a uh, rock nut oil and rock nut cake um, that rock nut oil needs a container and I have already queued it up I need a uh, I need some rock chucks and they are created in the crafts dwarf place so I will actually here uh, just put a couple of chucks on the top making sure some of them uh, some of them get done. Um, chucks pretty much work in the same way as barrels, but uh, barrels won't do for the rock nut oil. You actually need the chuck for that. So uh, he'll be cancelling that job for a while. Alright, so uh, this place was now done, so I will uh, channel 
channel those out to have my floodgates being built. Okay, I will actually put that on top because I need them. Same thing for the grate. Anything else? No, that'll be fine. The hatch cover. Yeah, let's put that on top as well. Right. There my miners go. Had I built any floodgates before? No. I should have made some uh, some when I uh, had the time. I knew I'd be uh, I'd need some need some uh, some along somewhere along the line. Uh, I think my uh, lie maker is making some lie there. And it's being stored here in these custom stockpiles. Yes, indeed. Because the dwarf is uh, unskilled. They just have that labor enabled basically with zero skill. You uh they take some take some time for them to do it. Actually one one thing I uh kind of forgot to mention. Um if you um the lie it also requires pocket when uh, when creating that lie. So uh, that's why that lie maker went on and fetched, fetched uh, a bucket in order to create that lie. Let me see, do I have some, uh, some of those things done already? Uh, the pressing has not been done. Some chucks have been created, good. All right, yeah. We can already create the soap because we have uh, because we have lye and tallow. But I will uh, I will wait a bit. Actually, I will queue it already. So let's queue it. Unit list manager. Let's make. Uh, Let's make soap from tallow. Let's make four of those. As soon as the soap is done, I think uh, my soap maker was the same fellow who is making making the lye. As soon as the soap is made, it will be carried into a into a stockpile, and uh, soap is stored in uh, in. Uh, Bars uh, stockpile together with all the all the stone blocks and such, but uh, since soap is pretty much only used in uh, in the hospital, I will uh, I will disable it. No wait. Um, let's actually let's keep all those other things here and just disable soap. Soap will be automatically stored in the in the in the containers in the hospital. But I will create a parent block stockpile here where my well will be, which is close to the hospital. And uh, here I will uh, forbid everything else but soap. And I will take the blocks away as well. All right, so there we go. Soap, and actually, now that I now that I think about it, sorry for jumping jumping into other things, but this thing actually only needed to be a, only needed to be a stockpile for uh, for blocks. That was uh, that was my mistake when I when I removed the generic stockpile from there. Okay, now I have to wait for a bit for things to be uh, done. And looks like I'm actually also out of out of ash. Am I really? No, I just still see one there. Two lie. 
Hmm. I think I had eight. Get the pressing. Pressing job is being cancelled. Still need more chunks. All right, waiting, waiting, waiting. Some lavish meals were done. Yeah, I have plenty of those now. Hmm. Yeah, my mason is building the things. I think he already got the floodgates done. Yes, he did, and the grates as well. All right, so let's build X as in floodgates and place it here. Someone will come and bring it. And as soon as it comes. I will uh, connect that into a lever. So going all the way down into my control room, I will uh, take notes, capital N, and place a note here. I will name it um, Lake Floodgate. And okay, there I have it. Going away from the nodes, I will add a new task, link up a floodgate, as in F, and that's my only floodgate, so I will choose it, and I will use whatever mechanisms I have, and yes, that's, uh, that's it. Then uh, since I have the other floodgate, I will already... Mm, Okay, that's actually trickier to trickier to place. I didn't think about that. No, it's not. It's uh, it's exactly as I planned it. Build X. The floodgate will be here. This will be where the water falls down, right? Yes, it will fall down from here. Come here. Here will be a floodgate. All right. That will be placed and I will connect to that as well. Go up a level, go notes, capital N, and this will be the, for that we will name it. Um, let's make it. Um, Well, let's make it just bottom floodgate. Yes, from that I will remember it. These are uh, these are not used that often, so uh, I need to need to note them, and then uh, I won't place any other levers in this room, so they are quite quite easy to remember. So add to uh, link up the floodgate and now I will choose the one here on the bottom and connect it and this one I will actually already add a task and pull the lever as soon as that uh, linking is done because my miners will be coming down here and uh, digging uh, or at least one miner and digging through the soap order is not yet done uh, not yet assigned, but uh, you already saw uh, how that was done. I will um, I will make a couple of ash, um, just because I want to have some. Even that, well, actually, I will just make one. It looks like the lie, lie job was done. Oh, there are some wild animals here interrupting my job. Hmm. Barn owl. Really? You got scared of that. And a rattlesnake. Yeah. 
those animals don't like us any any more than uh, any more than we like them. But uh, I don't want the job to be suspended. Mm, I think I might take my I might take my military out in here if that continues to trouble us. The barn owl is exactly on that area. Go away. There we go. Go down. Down, 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 down. Go south. Go, 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 go. Stupid owl. I haven't had any, any trouble with uh, with the surface animals because I have pretty much been uh, underground. So immediately when I start building something up here, uh, the wild animals start to start to harass us. There weren't any fighting, weren't there? No, just sparring. Uh, the soap is now being done. Let's look at the unit list manager. Uh, yeah, just being done. So the first bar of soap is uh, is soon done. There we go. And someone should come and take that into the hospital right away. There we go. There's a fellow carrying a bar of soap. Let's go down into a hospital. And uh, he will come down the stairs and bring it here. There we go. So there's the first bar of soap. If we check the hospital... Hospital... Um, Stats, we see that uh, one bar of soap was 150 soap, so uh, we need uh, we need six, five of those, not six, five, five, five in total. All right, and um, let me see, okay, so this floodgate was now done. Let me see how the connection, connection goes this time. Is the owl still here? And there comes the migrants. Hmm. All right. I will. Uh, you won't see this, but I will update dwarf therapist. And I see that I got twenty-five new dwarves, which means that um, I will end the video here. And uh, in the next one, uh, or in between, I will uh, go through my migrants. And um, unless they are highly skilled in uh, in something, they will be uh, they will become uh, military. Most of them, I will have some haulers who will just keep carrying stuff, but uh, most will most will be haulers. I'm uh, quickly looking at them here. I got one. One good hunter uh, with great skill. I got a couple of metal crafters, a couple of weaponsmiths and blacksmiths. That's pretty good. Didn't get an armorer, but I got weaponsmith. That's very, very good. They are, you know, think a furnace operator. Yeah, those are the those are the major skills I got. Let's look at the military skills. It's too bad you don't see this. The recording recording is quite. Quite tricky. There are a couple of sword dwarves. One axe dwarf. The ambusher is very good in dodging, so he could, could become a well. Actually, she could become a great marksman in the military. All right, but uh, as I as I thought, I will uh, I'll be uh, getting. Uh, Getting a lot of migrants. I will uh, let them. I will let them come in. Or actually, will I? Yeah, I will let them come in, and I will uh, oversee this. Oversee this uh, project here for the well. That is still being triggered or linked up. And right, my miners can now now finish up the bedroom pro project. I need to furnish the bedrooms here for the new migrants. There's not enough room in my uh, mini mini level here, and um, I think it's best that I actually 
pause the game here and finish finish these these things up off screen and then continue we uh, got the soap done and i got my uh, well project uh, started and i'll be finishing that up linking linking this uh, this floodgate building the crate here and um, and then uh, when those are done i will uh, dig down and uh, eventually let that water flow uh, when i open it i'll uh, i'll be recording that part at least and uh, now with uh, with all these turkeys they will be a uh, full size sometimes in the future uh, i'll have plenty of turkeys to butcher which i can uh, either eat with the tallow i can be creating more soap when i need them and uh, with that underground well I, uh, i'll be pretty well uh, pretty well covered as far as uh, sustenance goes so um, yeah uh, not all the migrants are yet in uh, in the game uh, 45 in total as i mentioned so yeah i hope you found this part of the tutorial helpful uh, making the soap and uh, that well building project started and uh, I'll see you in the next one when uh, I continue the well project as far as uh, as far as I need to. And um, I'll probably be assigning the new migrants into the military. Military and uh, I should have done this a bit earlier. I should have started creating uh, creating some uh, some equipment for the for the dwarves uh, from all the metals I have. And then uh, the next big project after this is digging down, finding magma, so I can uh, get magma to power up my uh, metal industry. And something I want to cover at some point is minecarts. I have already planned here where I will build them. Uh, I have actually never used minecarts myself, since they are a relatively new addition to the game when I'm recording. So... Uh, yeah, but that is those things are to come. Not all in the next video, but uh, still, uh, still plenty to go in this uh, tutorial series. Until next video, take care. Bye bye.